So here we have the sum of angles formula for cosine, which is cosine of x plus y equals cosine of x times cosine of y minus sine of x times sine of y. Now we need to prove that this particular identity holds using the Euler's formula. For that, we're going to use the Euler's formula for the cosine function, which is given by e raised to the power of ix plus e raised to the power of negative ix, all divided by 2. And the Euler's formula for the sine function is e raised to the power of ix minus e raised to the power of negative ix divided by 2i. Now we start from the right hand side. So we have cosine x, so that will get replaced by e raised to the power of ix plus e raised to the power of negative ix divided by 2. Multiplied to the Euler's formula for cosine of y will be e raised to the power of iy plus e raised to the power of negative iy divided by 2. Minus, so we have sine x, so the Euler's formula will be e raised to the power of ix minus e raised to the power of negative ix divided by 2i. Multiplied to Euler's formula for sine y will be e raised to the power of iy minus e raised to the power of negative iy divided by 2i. Now, we have the 2 and 2 gets multiplied in the denominator. So we'll write it as a common factor and multiply the first two terms. So we have e raised to the power of ix so that gets distributed with e raised to the power of i y plus e raised to the power of negative i y. So that will give us e raised to the power of i x times e raised to the power of i y plus e raised to the power of i x times e raised to the power of negative i y plus. Now the second term, which is e raised to the power of negative i x, that will also get distributed with e raised to the power of i y plus e raised to the power of negative i y. And that will give us e raised to the power of negative ix times e raised to the power of iy plus e raised to the power of negative ix times e raised to the power of negative iy. Similarly, we multiply the second term and that will give us 1 over 4i squared which will get multiplied to e raised to the power of ix times e raised to the power of iy minus e raised to the power of ix times e raised to the power of negative iy minus e raised to the power of negative ix times e raised to the power of iy plus e raised to the power of negative ix times e raised to the power of negative iy. Now we are going to combine the exponents that is because if I look at the first term which is e raised to the power of ix times e raised to the power of iy the base is the same so the exponent will get added and this will give us e raised to the power of i times x plus y. Similarly, we will have for the second term e raised to the power of i times x minus y plus e raised to the power of negative i times x minus y plus e raised to the power of negative i times x plus y. Moving on to the second term. Now here we have negative 1 over 4 i squared. We know i squared is equal to negative 1 so that will become positive 1 over 4 times e raised to the power of i x plus y minus e raised to the power of i x minus y minus e raised to the power of negative i times x minus y plus e raised to the power of negative i times x plus y. And we see the 1 over 4 is common so we factor it out and see that once we have done that we'll find some terms that will get cancelled out leaving us with 2 times e raised to the power of i times x plus y plus 2 times e raised to the power of negative i times x plus y. Factoring out 2 from both the numerator and the denominator finally leaves us with e raised to the power of i times x plus y minus e raised to the power of negative i times x plus y divided by 2 and this is nothing but cosine of x plus y. And we have finally found the left hand side.